on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. What up, team of gals? Welcome to Thunder Ridge Ski Area. We're uh, we're gonna rip it. It's a small one in New York, and we're stoked to be out here. So let's uh, let's send it. No way! This dude's wrapping the goggles. Oh, it's Wyatt. <laughs> we know that guy. What up? You're a foot taller every year we or every time we see you. What's your guys' name? Uh, Simon. Simon. Peter. Peter. What's up, bro? What up, dog? Hello, bro. All right. You guys gonna rip with us today? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got a crew. Let's go. All right, we found the park already. Drop right into the park. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Benton. Benton. I'm gonna do Benton, it. Benton, no. No inverted aerials. Benton cannot do his backflip, but we all know backflipping Benton loves to do his backflips. I'm not a backflip. <laughs> Benton will probably backflip first hit. <laughs> all right, guys. On the note of the no invert signs and things like that, we are trained professionals, and that is why Benton will throw a backflip even when it says no inverts. What they don't want, really what those signs mean, is like don't come here and try to learn a backflip because they don't want you getting broke off and having to deal with that because you were trying something for the first time. Because there are resorts like Copper that have all this like training stuff that are meant for you to go out and learn backflips at and things like that. Benton has backflipped more than he straight aired. So that's why he throws, <laughs> and he did fall. But Benton also can't get hurt. Oh, here we go. Fresh snow here. This is so sick. They have an old tea bar that doesn't look like they're using anymore and they just left it. It's just sitting here. I love when these like Midwest East Coast resorts just leave the skeleton of like what the resort used to be like. Cause one, you can see it and be like, oh yeah, this new lift was a great idea. You definitely get a lot higher. It's a lot more mellow than a T-bar. But two, it's just, it looks cool. It just, you know, that, that lift is probably like 10 years older than I am. But I'm very impressed with Thunder Ridge and their ability to get people up the slope. We're here on a busy, it's like what, President's Day weekend? Yeah. Yeah, so like it's super busy today, but we're getting up like nothing. They have a carpet and a chairlift for the Bunny Hill. They have another carpet on the other side. So like if you're coming here to learn how to ski or snowboard, like you're golden, you're gonna get your laps. You're gonna learn how to snowboard or ski and we're having fun. We're not waiting in much of a line. And we always have fun. Yeah, we, that is also true. We always have fun. But Thunder Ridge, by the way, thanks for letting us come rip your mountain. It makes the goal of riding every resort in the United States a lot easier when these resorts are hooking us up, having us come out, things like that. So Thunder Ridge, thank you so much for having us uh, rip your mountain. And we're going to keep ripping. So there's a lot on this side, like the Black Diamonds. You know we're going to ride the Black Diamonds. <laughs> uh, we're going to play around this park for a little bit, though. So here we go. So we saw this when we were getting off the lift. I'm so bummed because they actually have a ton of sick park features. Look at these rails. These boxes are sick. The flat rail, that's a long rail right there. They got a flat down, big tube. We keep getting these horrible days where we come to a resort and they're rebuilding their park. That's what we were told that they're rebuilding the park. So it's like, ah, man, I wanted to send all that stuff. But we will make do with what we got. Always wait on Cody to strap in. Some fresh snow over here. Snow feels amazing. Oh, dude, I, I support this a thousand percent. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. We'll definitely get that one foot trick, like, next time.
Tap the rock, Ben. <laughs> I can see that singer from a mile away. What's up? What's, up, dude? What's your guys' name? Samuel. Samuel and Dave. Dave, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Alright, let's get this. <laughs> let's go! Makes it hard for me when he does something so cool and I'm just gonna fall up with a switchback one. Oh, we got this now. I'm gonna do a butter trick though, I'm gonna go. so funny. I just like, sunk. I just sunk into the snow. <laughs> I just, at least it was soft. All my momentum was gone. I love once we like figure out a line at these small resorts and we're getting good hits and actually be able to do tricks. Yeah. It's so fun. I think we've got like the flow kind of film and ride this place. Yeah. You know what else we have like the flow and vibe of? Today, sticker shout out. We got Britain Soderbergh with the Roman Lego sticker on the helmet. Look at insane. Anyone that buys the Lego sticker, 100% of that proceeds goes to my son's college fund. As well as we got slightly crazy with two evolution stickers, one with a snowboarder, one with a ski sticker. If you didn't know, we do have a ski version of the evolution sticker. But guys, all of our evolution stickers and merch, like the hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, windbreakers, guys, they're all linked in the description. If you do snag any of our merch, just make sure you guys tag us on our Instagram and we'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs, but also follow it for bonus extra content or like with this trip we're doing, we had to change the schedule or the schedule's changing or resorts might be closed or something. So you gotta follow the Instagram to stay up to date, the most up to date with what our travel plans are and things like that. So follow the Instagram, follow my TikTok too. And with that, let's keep sending this place. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks you for snagging the merch. Appreciate it. Cause it is also how we pay for these adventures we do. You guys wanna ride up together? Yeah. Let's go. All right guys, we got Sam. Let me see this rocking the uh the grab map if you guys didn't know i have a map with all the grabs of your snowboard you put it on top your top sheet so you can learn all your grabs once you've learned them you can then rip off the stickers or keep them on like sam's rocking and you learning your grabs um i keep them on there just to have it there just in case if i like start grabbing just a basic grab i can know where all the grabs are yeah dude that's so awesome so that's one way to get better at snowboarding and sadly Sam's too young, but the other way to get better at snowboarding is to come to my snowboard camp in Hood in July or June. Uh, it's a week-long camp, five days of shredding, all-inclusive at Mount Hood in Oregon. It's an incredible time. You got to be an adult to go, but search buckhousecamps.com. If you're an adult, you want to get better at snowboarding, come to snowboard camp. Dude, thanks for helping me with that plug. You're the best. We will eventually do this nice icy run and these ones, this looks like their hardest black diamond. We always check out the black diamonds. It's sick that everyone's hitting this barrel, and you should too, because right here, under this pile of snow, subscribe! And that, guys, is Cody. Everyone, shout out Cody. Tindy! <laughs> I almost had the five. Watch out, Benson! <laughs> we have such a big crew right now, it's insane. All right, guys, the park is sick. We can obviously keep sending it. I wanted to get that front five. But we are going to go explore the mountain now. We got a couple of employees that are not on the clock showing us around too. Where are we going now? What's the best, what we got? Here we go. We're going to adventure. Let's not run into each other. There's a lot of us. So stay away from the guy in pink pants. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, there's runs everywhere. This resort's way bigger than I thought it was. This runs way over there. What? Go. 
go this way. <laughs> this resort is sick. Okay, so we clearly have to go up the double person chairlift. <laughs> get, get away from me, Benton! <laughs> no! <laughs> so we got to go up the double person chairlift because clearly it acts as a whole another side of this ski area that we have not even seen yet. All right, guys, we got Wyatt here. You might rec recognize him from the chat. Or the intro video, dude. You made the intro. Yeah. It was so sick. We keep seeing Wyatt when we come out here. He's the man. And so uh, thanks for spreading with us, Wyatt. All right, so we're going to go down Wildcat. We went the wrong way, so we got to take this uh, shortcut to get where we want to go. <laughs> That's what we call a New York tree run. Yeah, we're still in New York. We're like... Everyone slide this whole thing. Dude, everyone's at the tree run. Let's go. Alright, Benson, show us how it's done. <laughs> He's going so fast. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> You just kept going, Benton. <laughs> just kept sliding. It just didn't stop. Oh, dirt. <laughs> There's people everywhere. We gotta go back to the other side of the mountain. Get it, Benton. <laughs> Who brought this guy to the East Coast? <laughs> All right, so now that we've explored the whole mountain, we gotta go ride at what it looks like their hardest run, like the mega black diamond they got. Oh, I got him now. Oh, you got the clues because of me. Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, we're doing that black diamond. I'm gonna hit these balls real quick. <laughs> Definitely the cheapest run here. This is awesome. All right. This is the closest to a Colorado pitch that we've seen out here. So here we go. Mobbing off of that thing. Here we go. Hi, right, dude. Send it. All right, guys. So that was sick. But sadly, this one's Chipmunk. We have another ski resort to go ride today in Connecticut. The first time ever snowboarding in Connecticut. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe and uh, let's knock out Chipmunk. Here we go. Before we drop Chipmunk, I did run inside and get my Thunder Ridge pin. I get a pin at every single ski resort that we go to because I have this awesome pin board. And it's starting to look pretty good. But I do have an Evolution pin if you are into collecting pins or you want to start. Snag an Evolution pin, they're linked below. But I know you guys are wondering, like, why did we come to this tiny little ski resort? Why are we riding resorts on the East Coast when we live in Colorado? with the best resorts in the world. Well, it's because we have a goal to ride every resort in the United States. And the way you guys can track my progress is by going to resortskimaps.com. It is a map of all the resorts in the United States. All of the green ones I have ridden and you can click on them and watch the videos there. All the red ones means that we're coming there. So if it's red, we haven't been there yet. But you can click on the top right corner, see the schedule and you know we're coming your way. If it's not on the schedule, just know this is gonna take a couple years to ride all these, all these resorts. So just check out i know i get a ton a ton of messages like come here do this do that i'm like i will chill uh we're gonna do it we're gonna ride them all it's gonna be super sick so check out resortskimaps.com you can spend like an hour there it's super fun it's super sick and that is why we're riding all these tiny resorts on the east coast and that's why we gotta get out of here because we're going to resort number two swain where is it a resort in the united states uh yeah and then yes Are you ready Wyatt? Yeah, let's go. chipmunk let's do this Oh, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, guys, if I didn't get that front five, we would have done like another run. But we got it, so we're good. This is Chipmunk.
We gotta say goodbye to the mob of kids we had today. Thanks for ripping, Wyatt. You're the man. Thanks, buddy. I got a piece of paper and a pen in my pocket. I got you. I came prepared. So I don't normally do this, but I was like, you know, we've been meeting a lot more kids and I got to make new business cards that have my TikTok on it. So go follow my TikTok. But I'm not going to make new ones until I give out them all. I came prepared, my dude. There you go, buddy. Have a good one. Good ripping with you, bud. Keep sending it. All right, guys. With that, Thunder Ridge, once again, thanks for having us. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this channel.